question that I've been using recently, I only found out about this um, in the last sort of month or so, is um, hosting a large language model yourself locally. And uh, this has been possible for a long, long time, um, but in the past, it's usually meant going on to GitHub and compiling it all yourself. There's a new tool that just came out within the last uh, month or so, I believe, which is called jan.ai, that's J-A-N dot A-I. You go to that website and you can download um, what is essentially a client for uh, large language models. So you would download it and it works kind of like your email client would. Um, and there's a browser in there where you can browse all the different large language models that are available and um, the size you want, whether you want the 70 billion parameter version, which is obviously a larger file or a 7 billion uh, parameter version, for example. Um, there are uh, several uh, open source large language models on there, including Meta's Llama 2, which is the one that I've been using mostly. Um, but yeah, you just download jan.ai, you pick the large language model or models that you want to download into that client, and then you use it exactly as you would normally by logging into uh, ChatGPT, for example, but you're hosting everything locally. You can use it offline. Uh, you can, yeah, there's no slowdown. It's, it's perhaps not quite as quick to come back with some of the answers, but uh, it, it's also not quite as slow on the other occasions that you may be getting delayed. Consistent and it's stable. Basically. Yeah, so I'm... Um, well, you're, you so, definitely rule out any kind of like computer overload, cookie issues with things like that because you're hosting it on your own computer. Yeah. So all of a sudden those problems just go away. Yes. No, you do. And speaking of going away. Fairly modern computer. Oh, I have to run. Okay. Segway. Oh, whoa. Do you see how he did that? Peace he hasn't, you haven't left, you haven't left <laughs> yet, Duncan. We'll Still talk there. soon. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, Duncan, it's time to go. Uh, so, Ian, yes. so Jan AI, yeah. Jan.ai, you basically, you're putting one of these models on your computer. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so you can run it whenever you want. You don't have to be online, et cetera. Exactly. I'd imagine, like, it, it's so crazy for me to think that, you know, back in the early days of the internet, we would sit there and wait for 10 minutes for a picture to download yeah. and you would see it going like this. And now all of a sudden you're putting a large language model on your desktop. Yeah, which is nuts. absolutely. Um, one thing that's probably worth bearing in mind is that obviously it's, it is quite intensive on your computer as you're doing it. Um, so maybe not something you want to leave running in the background all the time. Um, ideally you'd want to make sure you've got enough RAM to run the model you want to use. If you, for example, wanted to use the 70 billion parameter version of Llama 2, then you're probably not going to be able to do that on just a Chromebook. <laughs> uh, you would really want to make sure that your computer is up to the task. 